How do you make the molecular orbital diagram for the Li2 molecule? Start by writing out the highest energy atomic orbitals for each individual lithium atom that are occupied or filled with electrons. We can find these atomic orbitals by writing out the electron configuration for lithium. From the periodic table, we can see that this is equal to 1s2, 2s1, telling us that the highest energy atomic orbitals in lithium are the 2s atomic orbitals. So now we can start a molecular orbital diagram by writing in these 2s atomic orbitals, one for each lithium atom, and remember to draw them at the same energy level. Then we need to draw in our molecular orbitals. There will be two of them. Remember that the total number of orbitals in your diagram always must be conserved. If we start with two atomic orbitals, we must make two molecular orbitals. The molecular orbital that is lower in energy is called a bonding molecular orbital, called the sigma 2s bonding molecular orbital. And the one that is higher in energy than the atomic orbitals is an anti-bonding molecular orbital, called the sigma 2s star anti-bonding molecular orbital. Remember to connect your original atomic orbitals with your two new molecular orbitals. Now we need to fill in our diagram with electrons. Lithium has one valence electron each. If we combine these valence electrons, the dilithium molecule, or Li2, will have a total of two valence electrons. And these valence electrons then must go into our diagram. This one electron will go into our 2s orbital. And the same thing with this one. Then, according to the off bat principle, we'll fill in our molecular orbital diagrams with the lowest energy orbital first. And in this case, these two electrons will fall into the sigma 2s bonding molecular orbital to completely fill it with two electrons. And this is your completed molecular orbital diagram for the Li2 molecule. Now, let's calculate the bond order for Li2. Bond order measures the stability or strength of a bond, as well as tells you the number of electron pairs present in a bond. The bond order is equal to 1 half times the number of bonding electrons present in the sigma 2s bonding molecular orbital, minus the number of anti-bonding electrons, which reside in the sigma 2s star anti-bonding molecular orbital. So for Li2, bond order will equal 1 half times the number of bonding electrons, of which there's two, minus the number of anti-bonding electrons, of which there's none. One half times two is equal to one, meaning the bond order of Li2 is equal to one. A bond order of one corresponds to one electron pair involved in a bond between the lithium atoms, which means that two electrons are involved in this bond. Or in other words, there is a single bond that exists between the two lithium molecules lithium atoms. Here are two different representations of how you could draw this. This is our Lewis dot structure for the Li2 molecule. Now, is Li2 paramagnetic or is it diamagnetic? Because the lithium molecule or the Li2 molecule only has paired electrons and no unpaired electrons, Li2 will exhibit diamagnetism and will be diamagnetic, which means that the molecule will be repelled by an external magnetic field. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.